Hi all. Um, digitising uh, aerial photos to make polygons for layers. Um, this is the week five nominally, depending on the weather, we might do it earlier. So this is a little video to show you how to do that. The data for this I've already put into a project for everybody. Um, so there's a layer for canopy and, uh, and a um, and an air photo, everything all set up for you. So you can simply open project in the bottom left corner of the ArcGIS Pro and zip to your folder, whether it's on OneDrive or a USB, wherever you're storing it. In my case, it's in week five. Okay, and you'll, it'll show up as a APRX called Tree Canopy. Okay. Don't worry about that, that's simply because I've got an older version of Art Pro on my laptop. Okay, so here's our, our um, map in the center here. We've got a canopy layer, which is a polygon, so you can see it's a closed loop rectangle here. You've got a near map RGB air photo underneath, nice and current. And at the bottom here you've got the polygons that are already present and if we click on one of those polygons you will be able to see it highlighted so this is one way of doing it you can simply click on there and it will highlight that feature that's already been created now I've gone ahead and made approximately 150 uh, tree canopy um, polygons for you um, so you're free to use those ones to continue working on your um, canopy cover layer uh, but you're also welcome to highlight everything that's here and delete them all um, and start over run it yourself um, that's that's entirely up to you okay so now we're at the point where we're going to start creating tree features so we're obviously going to be in the edit layer and we're going to click on our canopy layer and we want to create features. Now it brings up the create button in the ribbon here, in the edit ribbon, and over on the side here we've got canopy and it recognizes that it's a polygon geometry. Okay. Underneath here we've now got our options for editing. Okay, so we've got point and click, create polygon features one vertex at a time. We've got a circle feature, a rectangular feature, an ellipse feature and a freehand feature. Okay, we've got some other ones in here. Uh, Autocomplete freehand tools, so it'll automatically close off loops for you if you want. Um, I haven't used those for trees before. We also have a vertex editor and a clipper here, so we can trace along shapes if need be. Uh, we're not interested in topology today, so it's probably not necessarily. Okay, back up in the top layer here. In our edits we've got the select tool these are the tools that we probably make use of as we're going through okay um, so we can just clear the selection the one that I've previously highlighted there we don't want to do anything to it um, and so now we're we're right to start uh, mapping tree poly and tree canopies if I just zoom in to a little section here you can see some of the decisions that you're going to need to make some trees have got a nice, sharp, outlined canopy that's easy to spot, easy to easy to identify. Others have got a much more sparse canopy and a diffuse boundary that makes it quite difficult to identify exactly what's tree and what's what's not tree, where the canopy ends. Okay, so what we'll do um, is we'll go with first principles. Now in this case, you're simply going to click at each point around the edge of the tree canopy uh, to mark where the boundary is in the little increments little steps going around like this and it's up to you this is this is your time to interpret where that boundary is if you think about it if somebody is asking you to do this to uh, you know calculate how much tree cover a, a property has how many you know what proportion of the of the property is covered by trees, where you draw that line can make a big difference to the results that you get. So 
thinking about your assumptions behind the model that you're creating and how consistent you are with that is an important part. To finish a sketch, you just press the F2 button. So just hit F2, and now we've got a tree canopy polygon. Okay, now that, if we went and had a look at a larger one, say the bamboo here, the bamboo along the main path, that would take us a long time to go around, point and click each spot. Okay, working way around all of that. Um, so there are other ways to speed things up. First one I'm going to show you is the circular tool. So here's a reasonably circular tree canopy. And uh, palms are another one, they're a classic uh, circle. Okay, so for the circle tool, all you do is you click once in the middle, drag out to a point where you're happy that you've captured the tree canopy, click again, and it generates a circle for you. So that's, that's a very simple two clicks um, to create the tree canopy. Uh, the next one that's in here is an ellipse feature. So not all tree canopies are uh, perfect circles, okay? And if we've got an ellipse shaped tree canopy like this one along here, you could sit there and you could click around the edge. It would take you some time. Or we can use the ellipse tool and once again, click in the middle, draw it out along an axis, long axis, click again, and then draw it out across the other axis. And then you can just move that around until you're happy that you've actually captured that tree canopy and the third click will make the feature for you. So we've got pointy clicky, we've got circles, we've got ellipses and finally we've got the freehand tool. Now the freehand tool is really useful for complex tree canopies that are weird shapes. Okay, So if we have a look at this dark tree canopy in here we've got a weird shape that wraps around a bit of palm tree here and disappears underneath other canopies. So with the freehand tool you click once to start and then wherever your mouse tracks the software automatically builds a line that follows. So all you've got to do is run around the edge. Okay, So we click once, run around the edge, like this, okay and F2 to finish and now we've got what is a quite organic and difficult shape nicely digitized okay and that is creating geospatial data in the form of polygons um, just remember once you've been doing this for a little while every 10 minutes or so make sure you hit the save button okay you do not want to come back and have to do these again yes we want to save all of our edits okay and in the select here if you want to get rid of that so you can just uh, get rid of the active one um, you can simply click the, the clear here and if we wanted to select that one back again we can just pick it up and down in our table of attributes here if you click show selected records it'll show you the shape area so that tree canopy covers about 200 square meters Thank you all.